Hey, I'm Donald Bell here for CNET.com giving you a first look at the third generation Apple iPod Touch. Now, design-wise, this is identical to the iPod Touch we saw last year, but we do have new pricing capacity for the Touch. Uh, we've got an 8 gigabyte version going for $199, a 32 gigabyte version going for $299, and a 64 gigabyte version going for $399. One of the new features we're seeing on here that we're also seeing on the new iPod Nano is a new feature called Genius Mixes, which is just an extension of the Genius, Genius Playlist feature, but it just goes above and beyond creating longer mixes of music based around certain genres. Some other cool things here, on the 32 and 64 gigabyte capacities, we're seeing a 50% increase in the processor speed. We're also seeing um, a new OpenGL technology coming in here that's going to make gaming a lot faster, make games load a lot faster, web pages load faster. We're not seeing that though on the 199 8 gigabyte price point. Another cool thing that's happening here is that the App Store now has a genius feature in it which will recommend applications for you based on applications you already own. So if you're really big into games or really big into you know, blog tools, it'll recommend other, other tools, other apps that other users have liked that are like yours. Another neat little thing that I'm liking about this is that the iPod Touch is now shipping with the headset that has a microphone in it, so you can take advantage of things like the voice memos, uh, VoIP app, uh, other things that take advantage of voice recording or voice technology. There's also a voiceover function on the new version of the iPod Touch that will let you do uh, voice control so that you can call up your favorite music, your favorite artist just by talking to the microphone. Uh, it's the same feature we've seen on the iPhone 3GS as well. Another cool little thing that we're getting on the new 32 and 64 gigabyte versions of the iPod Touch are improved accessibility features that we've seen on the iPhone 3GS, uh, but there's going to be a big deal for a lot of people because they help uh, announce different uh, web pages to you, announce icons to you, help people uh, use the iPod Touch ironically without having to actually touch it um, and be able to take advantage of all the different features that are on here. Overall, this isn't a dramatic refresh of the iPod Touch. We thought maybe we were going to be seeing a camera on here or a built-in microphone, but it's still it's, it's a good update. We, we're definitely liking the new capacities all the way up to 64 gigabytes, and the new pricing is really great. The 199 price point is going to get a lot of people involved with the iPod Touch who would otherwise uh, look past it. So for CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell, giving you that first look at the third-generation Apple iPod Touch. Hey guys, Brian Tong here, and if you're looking to see the top dogs in tech face off, then you need to watch CNET's prize fight. We'll throw touchscreen phones in the ring, reignite the console wars, battle web browsers, and more. So you can find it all at CNET.com slash prize fight, and I'll see you there. Woo-ha!